I've been involved in a few CAD benchmarks and displacements over the years. There is a trend that I'm surprised major CAD companies get away with. If your company is evaluating CAD software, there's one thing that you should demand if a CAD vendor is going to demonstrate their platform. Insist that the CAD software be demonstrated to you live by a real person. That sounds crazy, right? It's a software demonstration. Of course, they're going to demonstrate the software to you, right? Right? You'd be surprised. I delivered CAD sales demonstrations for years. And I'm proud to say, regardless of whether it was Pro Engineer, Wildfire, Creo Parametric, Mechanica, Creo Simulate, Routed Systems Designer, Creo Schematics, MathCAD, or Windchill, my demonstrations were live. It was me clicking the buttons on a computer in front of customers. So I was shocked when I found that other CAD companies don't do live demonstrations of their software. I have two major experiences as a customer. The first time, I was on a program that was struggling to meet its objectives. Management had decided that changing our CAD and PLM systems would help. It didn't. Being in Seattle, a number of people had used software from a major aerospace and defense company. The people wanted to switch to that company's CAD software. We went through several remote demonstrations and a few days of hands-on workshop. However, instead of demonstrating the software live to us, the vendor played a series of pre-packaged videos. Even when we asked follow-up questions, the response was to find the answer in a pre-made video. Towards the end of the selection process, the whole team attended another technical demonstration and validation session. We had seen many, many videos by this point. We still had reservations about the software. We insisted that they show us how to do things in the actual software. They had a few application engineers on hand. And so after some frustration, my boss made a simple request. I want you to show us how to make an assembly of a table. They asked for clarification. And so my boss said, make a part for the leg, sketch a square, and then extrude it to a certain distance. Then make a part for the tabletop sketch a bigger square and extrude it to a shorter depth. Then make an assembly. Bring in the tabletop, then add four instances of the legs and show how you would locate those legs relative to the tabletop. It's simple stuff, right? Anyone coming out of a beginner's class for Creo Parametric could do this for no, with no problem. We were just trying to get a feel for how simple workflows work in their software. If I had not been there, I would not believe what happened next. They began discussing, even arguing amongst themselves about different strategies to take. They even talked about using surface modeling for doing this. Then they called in some other application engineers to the conference room where they were sitting. They invited other people onto the phone call. They started making some geometry in their CAD software and the whole time they were arguing amongst themselves. Meanwhile, in our conference room, my boss and our team, we were aghast. Our jaws were on the floor. 
we really couldn't believe that this was happening. And so we let this go on for about 15 minutes. And then at that point, my boss said, forget about it. And we just moved on. In my second major experience as a customer, I was working for a startup. Before I had joined, a director had already decided that they were going to switch from SolidWorks to another major package. Regardless, they still wanted me to manage what was supposed to be an independent benchmark. They were convinced that the software they wanted to switch to was going to place first in the benchmark. Anyhow, the software that they were sold on switching to had done a demonstration a couple months prior to me joining the company. And I used the term demonstration loosely. It was actually a PowerPoint presentation. Fortunately, they had recorded the presentation, so I was able to watch it. Now, that presentation, it was highly polished. Someone had spent a lot of time planning it and developing the visuals in the PowerPoint. But the CAD demonstration lacked one thing, a demonstration of the CAD software. This company was convincing people to switch to their software based on glossy visuals alone. So why don't CAD companies demonstrate their software live? Quite simply, it comes down to two main reasons. They can't or they don't want you to see their software. Either their software is so complicated that their application engineers can't demonstrate it live or their software is so complicated that they don't want you, the end user, to see their user interface. You wouldn't make any expensive or important purchase without seeing what you're buying first. Would you buy a house without taking a tour? Would you buy a car without taking a test drive? Of course not, but some CAD companies would try to get you to adopt their software for your company sight unseen. Tell them, insist that you need to see the software for yourself, driven by a real human being. The next time that you're selecting CAD software, insist on live demonstrations from your vendors. Thank you very much.